Yeah. My yeah. time now, I know they know it. No. Running these runs, I feel like a boy. Pull up like I'm baby riding this song fast, and you know that it's wrong. I get my hustle like this, I need every penny I can from the bottom. I know it, they know it. I know 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 it. They know it. Where you been for a minute? Yeah, my hustle, I don't feel like I'm nipsy. Give me like London, just people my bitch pull up in the coupe windows. I see no money bag, but we gon' fill it. Smoke on the pound, it's out of it. Police pull up, you know it's saying. I fire my old bitch and give me a better one. Ain't playing with these bitches, ain't sparing these niggas. Yeah, he talk, I just call it that pillar. Yeah, cause who the fuck did they gon' take some from me? And who the fuck face can't get placed on the TV? He talk with that talk, but not walk with that walk. Hopped in some water, might want to talk. Right now, I'm high as a blimp. Get to that money, stack it up to the ceiling. Stack the mission, they on some other shit. And now I don't trust the bitch, I ain't cuffing shit. I'm a dumb, but when. What's up, y'all? Y'all see this before? Look at that. Look at that. Headline all sinking in and stuff. Look at this. The guy sinking in. Ouch. See that? Look, I got the material there because sometimes people have to make these. But this is before, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the aftermath of it. Look at it. Ain't no hanging. I need to. I need to do something about the light. I'm gonna film myself doing something. I don't know. I want like a blue LED up here for some reason. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. Look at the size back there. Came out right. Look at that, y'all. See? Anything possible, man. Yeah, it's your boy Black Will SS and I'm back with another video. This is a, a video on how I'm gonna install my headliner on the 86 Caprice. I got it in from a boy, William. He's out in Natchez, Mississippi. He also is on Instagram on uh Stitch by Dunn. You can see his uh Instagram page there. He do great work. I would love to send this car to him. I know it'd be in good hands, but I'm way, I'm way out in El Paso, so I had to drive over there. I wouldn't mind doing it or just taking the uh, the truck and trailer, taking it, uh, taking it over there, drop it off, and uh, get it done. I wouldn't mind, but like I said, I want to try to do everything I possibly can by myself with this car, and then uh, later on, if it's something too challenging for me to do, I send it off to him. But he's gonna do my work for sure. Uh, but yeah, um, this is the 86 box Chevy. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna start taking off. Uh, of course, you gotta take off the light and the clothes hanger things that's on both sides. And then for the front, where the sun visor go, you gotta take these three screws off. I'm gonna take this screw off. Mm, I think I have plenty of room to play with after that. And then it's a screw right here. That you take off right here and also I know it's one right there in the middle that you take off for the back so the headliner can come off I think what I have to do is push it push the back down first and then pull the front out because the front sits up in here as you can see is a gap right there it sits up in there and oh man this car gonna be super dirty when I get done with this guys so um, I'm gonna take the headliner off, and then what I do next is um, just go from there. So you can see this is the end of the headliner right here and it's screwed in right here. So I'm going to undo these screws here and it's two up there. Alright, so I use a pry bar. Uh, where is it? I used the little one. I didn't need the big one. I used the little one. The little pry bar to pry on the outside. I also take, the, take this off for the seat belt. Where the seat belt goes, take this off. So you can have, you just need it where it can hang a little bit. See that? That's all you need. You see that gap? That's all you need to get the headliner down. 
and it's uh I gotta take this off this trim off I believe I don't want to too much mess with that because I don't know if I'm gonna mess it up but if I do it is what it is I'm gonna try to fix it so let me get that done This how the back look. You gotta put glue on the back. Alright y'all. Oh the wind is blowing hard. So I got it down. See I'm gonna have to redo those as well. Just put glue on the back of them. That's all I gotta do. It's, it look good on the back. It's not dirty like I thought it would be. And it's very firm. The back is very firm. See my indention? Very firm, y'all. You can see it right there, the part number say B60, B-69 right there. You know. The only part I'm wor worried about is this. I'm gonna have to probably fiberglass a little bit. I don't know, something. I'm gonna have to work right there, the glue. So I'm gonna get it out, take it in the house, and uh, redo it. All right, y'all, so here you go. These are the uh, the back panel. I'm gonna also do two. All right, so you see, it didn't even, the glue sticking up here still. And that's it. They overlapped it a little bit at the back, which is perfect. That's what you're supposed to do. You got all the old residue. So what you wanna do, you're gonna use a wire brush. And this for the whole thing. You're gonna use a wire brush. Everything you possibly can uh, That's deep Look at all this dirt. You want to get your general purpose that he's a cleaner? Spray it on there. See how they getting all that stuff like this, these black things right here? We good. It's clean. So, I'm gonna let this air dry. But this is the back. This one is the back dry passenger. That's the driver's side. See that? Look how clean it is now. It's the small piece first. <laughs> Just in case, you know. So, that's what I plan on doing right now. I'm gonna do this small piece first. Okay, this right 
this. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do, the spray, the back of this, I'm gonna start in the middle. Let me turn it sideways. I'm gonna start like this, y'all. Just like this. Just gonna do it. And of course on here too. And it's already, look, it's already glued on there. Pieces are stuck. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna do the back. Cause oh shoot. I'm gonna do the back. Like a little overlap. I don't know where the seals is at, but I really do need them at this point. So, what I'm going to now is fold it over with the glue. Alright, so. I don't think I'm really going to overlap it a lot.
All right, guys, here it is. Boom. <laughs> Yo, look at this. I did it myself, y'all. I did it myself, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. What? <laughs> same thing with the little pieces. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Um, it gonna take longer because it's bigger, of course, but we're gonna get to it. So.
So, there it is, guys. So, next, what I'm gonna do, take my spray. Alright, so I'm only gonna focus on like a little bit, like right here, like a little bit on the back side of it as well. Just a little bit, because I'm a, I am gonna have this overlapping. I do have to fix some pieces, like the bottom piece over there broke. Also the top. So I'm gonna have to get some get some more pieces from somewhere. I'm gonna go to Walmart see if I can find some more. I don't know how I'm gonna manage it. But I'm gonna have to fix it somehow. So y'all can see where I kind of like did halfway. <laughs> Try to do half and half a cleaning. You can see that stuff just won't come off for some reason. But the rest of it is pretty clean. At least when you rub over it, it's not that sticky. It is sticky because this thing been in there for years, 30 years with, with glue. So it is a little bit sticky, okay? Which is pretty much a good thing I see. Like I said, I've never done this. So... I'm just going on what I think I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this part up. Like I said, it's the same uh, process that I did with those. I'm gonna clean this part up and then after that, look at all that stuff over there. I, I swept it up. I saw that old glue come back. So after this, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying the, uh, the vinyl on it. Alright guys, look. Turn this down a little bit. There it is. Look at it, y'all. I need to do something about that light. I don't want to put the after uh, the original. I want to do some aftermarket, like an LED up there. Look at it, though, y'all. 
Smooth. Look at that. All right, y'all. So this is the aftermath of it. Look at it. Ain't no hanging. I need to. I need to do something about the light. I'm gonna film myself doing something. I don't know. I want like a blue LED up here for some reason. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. Look at the size back there. Came out right. Look at that, y'all. See? Anything possible, man. One day of work. Look at it close. One day of work. I mess around put my fingerprints on this side deep. So that's why I like that. But hey, you can't beat it when you did it yourself. So hey, until next time. Appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all be safe out there. Peace out.